Thanks for joining us in another episode of uh, GSL News. Uh, it's been a little while since we put out an episode of GSL News. Uh, the reason being is we haven't had much new things to talk about besides plenty of business. That, that's one thing that's always consistent. But um, we do have some things for you, uh, some news for you. And uh, we have one of our employees uh, leaving. His name's Andrew. He's going to be moving on to another opportunity. So we wish him the best. We uh, enjoyed having him while we had him. He came along very well, picked up very good. But, you know, that's how it works out. So we wish Andrew the best. But that being said, we have a, a new member of our team, Paul, who's going to be joining us. It's actually right here behind me over my shoulder. But uh, Paul has literally has as much experience as, as I have years in life. So <laughs> we needed that depth for our team, actually. We are a very young team, and we don't have a lot of uh, deeper knowledge, especially of the um, the older, um, you know, lock hardware and vehicles and things like that, that some of those, some of those items you don't see as much these days. So when you run across them, if you don't have that old experience, it can kind of, you know, throw you around in a circle sometimes trying to figure out what to do. So we add, uh, add Paul to our team, adds a lot of depth and experience, adds 38 years of experience right there with Paul alone. And I'm 38 years old too. So he's been doing it as long as I've been here. So welcome Paul to the team. And we, uh, Wish Andrew the best as he goes on to what he's doing. So that being said, there's still 10 of us in the group. And we also had uh, Sean come back. Forgot to mention that too. Sean actually left right before, not right before, but right as COVID was breaking in March of last year in 2020. Um, he was on, a, on leave basically for, uh, he's a high risk. So he got his vaccination and everything. And Paul, I mean, uh, not Paul, Sean has been back now for, probably a couple of weeks now working with us again. So we're working him back into the fold. So we're bringing our old team member, crew member back. It's good to have him back. Uh, some other news. We have a new blog that went out just the other day. It's a, a blog on Remote Lock, which is a cloud-based access control system. It's one of our favorite access control systems that we offer. Um, a lot of flexibility in the system, a lot of uh, new cutting edge um, options for access control. So if you want to check out that blog, it's on our, uh, on our website. We can put a link up here for you. Uh, also, um, we have a lot of other blogs in there, too. It's not just the Remote Lock blog. We have some other random topics, things like that. So if you ever want to learn some random things, then just go look through our blogs, and there's all kinds of different things, whether it's safe cameras or access control or just locksmithing or maybe even business topics or news or local news. We have all kinds of blogs and all kinds of topics. So if you uh, feel like looking into that, it's on our website. Just click under the blog, blog link, and it's categorized, and you can search in there and see what kind of uh, content we have for you. All right, in other news, as you can see, we're missing a, a safe here. We're also missing some safes. We had to space these out a little bit because uh, we are uh, we have been selling way, not too many safes. We've been selling a lot of safes. But if you look back here, too, we're missing uh, one there. We, uh, if you come down here, this is sold, sold. And sold, 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 and those over there were sold. That was just filled up the other day. So we literally got a shipment in about a week and a half ago. When it came in, we had like 16 safes or some odd safes come in. Eight of them were already sold right away. And then the day, two or three days after, three or four of those are already sold. So we're getting very close. Once all these are delivered, these ones that are paid for already are delivered, we're not going to have any more safes again. So we have another shipment coming in in about a week or so. Uh, but it's a constant just replenish and back order and put them all in back order because we're trying we're selling them faster and hauling can get them to us to tell you the truth so um, that's other news is that uh, it's been pretty good in the safe business put it that way uh, we're also looking in for some better ways to move safes uh, we're looking at some better equipment some better dollies we're also looking at possibly contracting out someone to move some of the bigger safes instead of putting so many men on it here at the company because it's it takes a lot of uh, manpower to move some of these big guys inside houses so Anyway, as you can tell, safes have been uh, moving very well. So I wish we would have had some footage of it before because we just stocked it up. And then it was like over the next four or five days, it just went out and everything's gone. So uh, the safe business has been good. So let's go talk about some of the other stuff we're working on. All right. Another news, we have uh, a bunch of big projects that we're doing right now. Access control projects and CCTV projects and locksmith projects. We have some cameras over here that are for a big camera job we're doing, some hike vision cameras. Uh, the, that one's like almost 30 cameras. Um, and then all this right here are for open access control projects, our staging area to get everything ready before we take all the parts out there and go do the job. So 
Uh, we are busy as we can get. We've got jobs getting approved every day, big projects getting approved literally every day. So we're trying to knock them, get them in and knock them out as quick as we can, especially now that we have, uh, you know, Sean back on the team and now we brought Paul in. So uh, that should help with things and help us uh, get these jobs knocked out a little quicker. And last but not least is we have the logo for the company trademarked. So this, this Guardian Safe and Lock G right here that you see, this is trademarked. It's been trademarked for a couple of years now. We have another trademark. And you're going to see it pretty soon on our uh, on some hats, some clothing, things like that. It actually goes hand in hand with what we're trying to do as a company. And uh, if, if you've ever paid attention to our vision and mission statement, which are on our website, if you want to check it out, uh, we are all about moving forward, uh, progressing the industry, uh, bring, innovating the industry, bringing it forward into the, the new time. Basically, if you ever look at a locksmith shop, they're all kind of dated and old and boring. Well, we're trying to change that and rebrand the industry and, and uh, bring notoriety kind of to it because no one even knows what locksmiths do half the time. And, and people don't even know what the term access control is, you know, things like that. So going hand in hand with that is we got trademarked, make locksmithing great again. So we, uh, we got our trademark approved. It's already approved now. So make locksmithing great again. You're going to see that on some shirts probably. We already have it on a shirt, but. We'll get on some shirts, some hats, uh, things like that. Maybe some other apparel and things like that. We might even put some up for sale on the website. So stay tuned for that. Maybe, uh, maybe we will do that. But we'll probably talk about that if we do that. We'll talk about it in another GSL News. That way you know it needs to, you can go check it out. So thanks for tuning in. As you can tell, business is always is busy. Safes are going like crazy. We got access control jobs and CCTV projects for, for the foreseeable future. Um, and uh, we've got a whole new depth of experience with Paul coming into the picture. And we got one of our other guys back, uh, Sean, too. And uh, we're just getting everything rolling again. So thanks for tuning in. We appreciate uh, the support as always. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, or all the social media platforms. Um, we also have a newsletter that goes out once a month. You can actually go on our website and click on that if you want to be on the newsletter. And uh, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels. We have Udropreneur and we have Guardian approved. And thanks for tuning in. We appreciate the support as always.